Hey everyone, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I am checking out the new 2020 Adobe Photoshop and I wanted to share it with you. I am really impressed with how easy this new Adobe Photoshop is. It's very user friendly. You don't have to have a lot of training to be able to use it, which uh, makes it that much more user friendly for the non-professional photo uh, photographer, photo editor, uh, graphic artist, and uh, it definitely allows for you to be able to um, really have uh, some amazing uh, photos that you can play with and you can make some changes with. So what I want to do, I just pulled up a picture here um, and you can see here that um, that the picture itself, this is the, the raw picture, and this picture, there are some definite things that you can do right here. Um, you can do quick edits, but you can also do guided edits um, as well. And uh, it will allow for you to be able to see um, with the guided, it, it actually walks you through the different aspects of what you can do to see what it would, what it would do to your picture. Um, there's also some expert versions of this too, uh, which is similar to what you would get in a, a full version of Photoshop as well. You can see that a lot of the same enhancements and drawings and things like that that you're used to from other versions of Photoshop are in here as well. On the quick side, most uh, beginners, most basic level users are going to be able to use this and be fine. Um, you, can, you can see on the basic side, uh, they give you all of these different aspects. So you can have your, your basic adjustments, you have effects, textures, frames that you can add in. And there is an undo uh, button here as well so that you can uh, end up taking things off. So if I go through here, you can look and see as I drop this down on the quick ones, it gives you a zero to a, kind of a zero to a hundred percent in fixing. I find that at least on this picture, there's not a lot that they're fixing. So um, that one doesn't really do much. Now, where things definitely change is as you're getting into exposure. You can see it's at zero right now, but I could go all the way up to four. I could go all the way down to negative four. And you can see the difference here at the different levels of exposure. Um, and, and that's a quick way to be able to bring some more light in if you need to. On the lighting side, you have some ability to change your shadows, your midtones, your highlights, and depending on what you're trying to do. Again, you start at zero. You can go all the way up to 100 if you want. Um, and and uh, on the shadow side, I mean, it, it doesn't, it ha I've found that it doesn't do a lot with this picture, but this one it does. On the midtones, it does. So if I can go all the way up here, you can see how, how vastly different that is or on the low end, how vastly different that is. There's the kind of the, the middle of the road here, which is back at the main one. Um, highlights again, all the way down. You can see the difference as I move around and show you the differences here. Color-wise, again, you can, you can work on your saturation, your hue or vibrance. So um, as this is at zero, you can see, I mean, I could really go crazy and do some artistic stuff if I really wanted to. You can go to the hue and do the same thing. I mean, you look kind of like Smurfs there. So, and then Vibrance will do some aspect of the, diff of the same as well. Um, you can see some difference though. I mean, see, look at how vast, how vastly different that color is from if I go down here and take out a lot of the vibrant colors or if I really make the the colors pop because here the colors aren't really popping but I could bring it here and really make the colors pop out you can see the greens are very green in that and the white is very very bold as well okay so that is your color you got your balance and on balance you, this, this picture itself is set at about a 50, so that's where this, but you can change a lot of things. You can get into sepia tones, down to blue tones, and, um, and you can also work on, you can do some tinting if you really wanted to, and 
you know, you can, again, just do some artistic things with that. You can also sharpen the image. You can see how vastly, how sharp you can get versus no sharpness at all. So that was just adjustments. Now on the effects, there's a ton of different effects that they have in here. Under each of these, there are different things that you can do. So um, I'll just scroll down just so you can see that there's a, uh, there's a ton of different options. Light leak, vintage, split tone, black and white. I mean, if I click on black and white, you can see it completely went to black and white. But there's other options too. So they're under black and white. I mean, there's four different types of black and white. So you can see if I want a little bit darker edges, I can do that. And I can always click the back button and go back to where I was. They've got lithographs. They've got toy cameras, pencil sketches. I mean, it's, it's really kind of interesting to see all of the different things. And you really have to take the time to be able to explore these for yourself to turn the image into what you're trying to have for yourself as well. So just so you know that there are some definite quick effects that, w that are very easy, to very easy to use, that you typically wouldn't have, I mean, just in a regular, you know, with the image itself or with regular editing software. So lots of quick edits here. There are textures. You, I mean, you can add a texture in, and you can see some large-scale differences. I could put a... You can see there's different backdrops and backgrounds that you can add in the, to see and, and kind of play with it and see if one works better than the next. And then there's also frames. So as you can see, I mean, this is a pretty cool, um, this is a pretty cool uh, piece of software. There are other quick tools over here, red eye reduction. Um, you know, each of these works in just a little bit different way. These are for you can whiten teeth. You can s there's a straightening tool. There's a text so you could say where this was if you wanted to type something in. There's a quick little um, spot healing brush. There's a cropping tool. So all these different things. Um, this is a quick selection tool. So if I if I wanted to, I could quickly select I could quickly select uh, our faces if I really wanted to. If I wanted to to play with those, I could, you know that th that would be fine. Um, and and we'd be good to go. So those are those I mean those are the basic level things. Now as I said, you can go all the way up to the expert side and and I can you know I can click back and get rid of those if I need to and I mean I can go in here and you can you can do a quick color tool if I wanted to and I can pick pick specific colors so that the colors are going to match what I want what I want in the in the picture um, it really just depends on how expert you need to be or if you need to layer. You can do some other layering on top of this to be able to uh, put in a graphic, a logo, whatever you need to, need to do. Um, there's lots of different things here that you can do um, in regards to the, the image itself. Um, you can see all the different auto, auto adjustments that are available. So, I mean, you can... I guess what I'm trying to get at here is photo sh this Photoshop is has been created to allow all levels to be able to develop and create images that are going to pop, that are going to truly stand out for others, and it's going to allow for you to be able to really have some amazing pictures that you can use personally, professionally, and be able to do, do some great things with it. So I'm really impressed, and I know this is a really quick overview of it, but I just wanted to at least show you the the new the
the new look and feel of it because it is it does look a little bit different than than previous versions but it is very easy to use so uh, whether you need whether you want to go more advanced and use the more advanced tools you can definitely do that but if you're if you would rather do the quick edits and focus on the basics you can do that as well and not have to go through hours of training to be able to know exactly how to use it to the best of your ability. If you've got questions, definitely put them in the comments today and uh, look forward to, to hearing from you.